Ulster is the only side capable now of stopping an all-French final in the Heineken Cup. That's right, Toulon have already booked their spot in the competition's grand final, and Clermont will be eyeing up the other spot. Next, their fellow countrymen for the grand final, but first, it is semi-final time. Hello, everyone, and welcome along to Cornflakes Quip, where we are in the semi-finals of the Heineken Cup at your home of Rugby Challenge 2. That's right, this is semi-final number two. And the final already has one person side decided. That is Toulon, who will be there next time to face one of these two sides. Now, Clermont, they qualified top of their group. That was pool four. They got six wins from six matches. They won their quarterfinal match of 41-15, extremely convincingly, over Saracens after they beat out Scarlets, Harlequins, and Racing Metro in their pool stage. They were the finalists in 2013, the beaten finalists. This time they'll be having to go one better, but they're going to have to beat the side that beat them last year in the final. But first they have to get there. And this is where Ulster come in. Yes, of course, they were the finalists, beaten finalists in 2012 and didn't win the competition as far back as 99. This time, though, they're looking prepared and they're ready to go and they're full of form especially after the quarterfinal win, 17-0 over Toulouse, and such a nail-biting group stage finish up against the Leicester Tigers. One Pallier and Treviso, that was the best pull of the competition. Now else to have a tough task, semi-final time to beat Clermont, one of the top French sides, and they are the only team capable now of stopping an all-French final. This is going to be a cracker. It is an unchanged side for us to that beat Toulouse, a couple of weeks back, so let's get down to kick off the players. Look all set to go. Let's get this cracking semi-final of the Heineken Cup underway. It will be Clermont playing in their Heineken Cup strip. That is it right there, the white and blue. Which means one thing, Ulster have to play in their away strip of the black. First time we've seen it this season, and here we go. Underway semi-final of the Heineken Cup, and it is straight down to Ulster. And it will be Best who puts the ball to ground for the first time in this match. Our forward plays scrum half. Quick pass to Marshall. Oh, Jackson only just got a fingertip to that as Doyle got the pass from Jackson and just about scampered away. But Clermont turned it over. And Pata has been caught from Release. an offside player. And that is an early advantage, just where Clermont want. Now they look to the backs. Bofana goes wide over the top. Here's Sitivatu, Sitivatu. Oh, and Sitaveni Sivivatu just about carving up the early break in the line, but stopped as the defence come across. That is, oh, a big start there from Clermont. They had advantage. They ran with it and just about got away with it. Here's Pinar. He's going to decide to kick. It's not a bad kick as John Arfon chases. He gets a good bounce as well. But back there is Brown, and right. he comes back with it. Is an advantage to Ulster. Clermont's carrying on here, but what's what's the call? May have been a forward pass, was it? Let's have a look. Oh, that's that's marginal. Crouch. If that's forward, that's marginal. Crouch. And those types of calls are what are going to decide the outcome of today's match. It is Ulster with the chance now. Favorable call from the nice referee. And there's a 22 scrum here for Ulster. Pinar puts it in. And at the back is Nick Williams. He sets it up nicely for Pinar, who runs it out. Flopping it off to Allen. Allen's running against his opposite number, Stanley. Jackson gets hammered. And that Release. is all what it is about. The set-piece play not working too well for Ulster there. As Clement looked to turn it over. But a good support coming in eventually. Here's Doyle. He'll run it out. Giving it to Marshall. Over the top of the defence to Best. This is a chance. Ella to Trimble. Trimble scored a lot already. He tries to step around Byrne, but he can't get away. And that is a good tackle from the Welsh fullback. Eventually coming away for Clement. Oh, and James just got monstered just as he got that. Here's Payne. Jared Payne's going to run it back. Over the top he goes to Allen. Round the corner. The big lock, Henderson. Can he link up? Away to Marshall. It'll be a try. Try to Ulster. And that is the first of the match. What a run from Henderson. The big lock creating the try 
for Luke Marshall. Here he comes, look at him go. Just trundling downfield. Nakitasi coming across to get him, but he had the support from Marshall. He will see the chase was coming in from a couple of forwards as well. It wasn't until Nakatasi got involved that he had to pass it. And Marshall was on hand. And he finished it nicely. Coming into the squad quite late too. Into the starting 15. Luke Marshall, but boy. Ever since that final match against Treviso. He's really not put a foot wrong all day, has he? Here's a conversion from Pinar, and it is a nice kick. Has it got the distance? It does. And that is a perfect start for Ulster. They lead 7-0 over Clement after just 20 minutes. What a match in store here. Semi-finals of the Heineken Cup. What could be much better? James kicks off, and he goes down to Best, who feeds it off in this tackle. Brilliantly to Bo. That's the man you want to get involved as an Ulster player, as an Ulster fan. Bo goes to ground. They set it up once more for Jackson. Short pass to Marshall. Oh, they're spinning it wide here. Doyle's there. Oh, Doyle's knocked it on. And that is Paul Way to finish it off as Pierre goes away with the ball. He goes to ground. Released. Just outside the 22 here. Fofana having a bit of a dabble himself. Takes out three players. And Fofana goes to ground. He's just short of the 22 as well, but losing the ball. It comes back for Ulster, and Pinar goes wide. Allen looking for his support player, Bo. Bo gets a now, and Bo steps through one. He's taken down a good tackle from Stanley. Release. Once again, it comes back for Ulster. Jackson running. Oh, that's a poor pass. Marshall picks it up, goes back to Williams, and Ferris goes through the middle. Good run from Ferris. Looks to set it up, but oh, Clement all over that. And they turn it over. Stanley gets hammered. Pick and go off the back. No way through there. Here's Parra going short on the inside to Kutsi. And he goes up another 10 metres. Semi-final action here. The Heineken Cup as Parra goes to the left side. It's Nakatasi feeding it back infield. And it is out wide. Bonier. Not really where you want. And your flank is to be out on the outside. Vuslu as well out there. Not the best finish to that play for Clement. Here's a line out now. Best goes to the front nicely. Pinar gives it to Williams and he charges into the defence. Big bullocking run as you'd expect from Nick Williams. Now they go to Allen. Over the top, intercepted. And there's some more ball for Clement as they give it through their forwards. Kaiser taken into ground. More ball here as Parler chips over the top. But nicely taken from Payne. And he read that play like a book. Easy. I'll still live another day here. 36 minutes go by. Jackson. Oh, beautiful kick from Jackson. That is an absolute screamer. Way up towards halfway from the mark. And that is two good pieces of play from Ulster. They lead this one 7-0. Heineken Cup, semi-final. Kaiser will throw in. Nicely taken at the front from Pierre and they go wide. Fofana, first play runner, gives it off. Oh, gives it to James, Release. who gets hammered. Big shot on James, he takes it to the ground, they recycle nicely. Now they go wide, it's out there for Sibivatu. And he's taken the cover defence, nicely taking him out. Pinar turns him over. Release. What's the call here for Ulster? Alfa going to run it, Jackson agrees, Court's there. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall's round the outside. He's got Allen, Allen's breaking away. Can he link up with someone? It's Jackson, it's Jackson got the pace. What a run this could be. No, he's caught short. And Jackson, just five, six meters short. It's still there for Bo. Bo goes himself. He can't get all the way, he's dragged down. Good defense. Clement really scrambling to get to the ball now. Doyle. Looks to the left, gives it to Marshall. There's plenty of defense here and it's intercepted. Clement get the ball and James thumps it downfield. What a raking kick there from James. Payne will run it back. He's got support, but it passes poor. It goes into touch and will head to the break for half time. Wow, what a 40 minutes of action that was. Ulster lead at half time, 7 to 0. But will they look back at that last little passage there? 
Petty Jackson could have got a killer blow before half time, as sides so often like to do. A try right on the break could have been the difference, but at half time it's still 7 0 to Ulster. And we can have a look at some stats here. It is possession. Firmly for Ulster, 58% to 42, but it is Clermont that lead territory. 77% of the territory. Handling error is 7 to 2. Neither side guilt free of that stat tonight. Line breaks is led by Clermont, 4 to 3, which is kind of surprising. Thought Ulster done enough there to get a few more. Tackles, 36 to 22. Not much in that stat there. Both sides are pretty heavy in defence and learning quickly. Clermont not using those short balls around the ruck too often after getting hammered a few times. But what will we see from them in the second half? Can they claw it back from 7-0 down? Will Ulster be going to their second final in three years? Or will it be Clermont with their second consecutive grand final appearance? Of course, Toulon is already there and waiting in the Heineken Cup final. One of these two teams is destined to meet them. Will it be all France or will the Irish get a little say in the final against Toulon? We have to stick around to find out. Let's get back down to the second half. It is Ulster leading 7 to 0. What's that missed opportunity going to do for Jackson's confidence here? He's skillful, he's silky smooth as he kicks off here for Ulster, but boy, that could have been a killer try as Pinar nicely takes down the kickoff. And what a start here for Ulster. Williams goes wide for best, they keep it alive. Muller, oh, opening up for Ferris now. This could be a fantastic start. Oh, but Bo gets blindsided from the defence. He received that pass and his eyes lit up. But a smashing tackle from the side. Well, that stopped them pretty quickly. It's a line out here for Kaiser. He goes to the middle, it's nicely taken, and they set it up here, Clement. They try to maul, but change their mind. Of course, he goes wide. He's got his forwards all involved. As now they look out through the right-hand side for Simi Bartu. He goes to ground. Ulster look to turn the ball over, but they run out of numbers rather quickly. Harder giving it to James, has been hammered. Oh, that's huge, and oh, this is bigger. A yellow card for Pinar. That is a massive turning point in this match. The lead is just seven, but Ruan Pinar will spend 10 minutes in the bin. How is that going to affect Ulster? He is such a leader in this team. It was a big shot on James, as there he is, kicking for touch. Wow, but how are Ulster going to respond without their talisman? Scrum half, Ruan Pinar. Kaiser will throw in again. He goes to the front, nicely taken down from Pierre, and he kicks ahead. It's not a good kick at all. It is a shocking kick from Powder. And it's gone dead and goal. That was good play at the back from Ulster. Just letting that run dead. Crouch. And they can soak up the clock Crouch. here. Three minutes is gone. It will be Jackson to play scrum half for the first time tonight. How is he going to go? He puts it in. Nick Williams is going to have to protect the hell out of him tonight. Well, for 10 minutes at least. The ball comes back. Surely for Ulster, it does. Jackson. He'll go for a run. Nicely done. Two gives it to Bo. And he's opened up some space as Bo. He goes to ground. A good tackle after getting through Nakatasi. Here's Williams. Short pass to Best. Oh, Best is away. Oh, brilliant fan from Best. He's stepping. What can this hooker do? Brilliant run from Best. He might lose the ball though, he's run away from his defence and the support he has is picked up from Vaslu and he goes into touch. That's good defence around the fringes from Ulster and it's given them the chance, oh boy. Surely Pinar must have been close to coming back from the bin. They go to the back to Doyle and Jackson runs it out, throws a big pass wide. Allen runs onto it, Marshall's there but Marshall gets taken down one on one, good tackle. Here's our forward. Flying it wide for Williams. Big Williams, the big number eight, storming through the center of the park. Back for Jackson again. Pops it short for Court. Well, can the big prop get there? No, he's driven backwards. A good tackle coming in from Byrne once again. Ulster trying to secure the ball, but they lose it. 
And that's it for Kaiser. Another high shot. Big high shot coming in from Best. And if anything for Ulster, this gives them the stoppage of play that they required. And they will get Ruan Pinar back onto the field. And luckily, they don't lose Best. Because that could have been tragic to lose one player just as you gain another. It's another free kick though. And James will thump it downfield. Over the 10 metre line it goes. This is such a tight match. 7-0. How important was that conversion? Here's Kaiser once more. To the front. Turnover. Muller with the turnover. Jackson runs the line. Gives it to Allen. Allen gets the numbers wide for Trimble. Trimble's one-on-one. -on -one. He will goes around Byrne. Oh, he can't get away. Fantastic defence from the fullback. Here's Pinar to Marshall. Over the top. Intercepted. Oh, it would have been a try if he didn't get hold of that. Fafana drives into the defence. And a penalty for not releasing. Holding on in the rock. Wesley Fafana, that could be the telling mistake. Straight away, they say, let's go to the posts. Ulster, unified in their decision. This will be the winning of it with 11 minutes to go. Pinar. Can he deliver? Can he deliver the blow? And he does. Fantastic kick from Ruin Pinar. Back from a little rest on the sidelines. He puts this match just one step further out of Clermont's reach. 10 0 is the scoreline. 10 minutes to go. What can Clermont deliver? Have they got anything in the tank? Ulster have shut them out so far. Pinar. Gives it to Marshall, just about breaking, but Ellen does instead. He's still got Bo, he gets Bo, great pass. Bo breaks the line, Bo's over the 10, and Tommy Bo will put Ulster into the grand final of the Heineken Cup. That is it, that is just what they needed. And it is 15-0 with only a couple of minutes to go. Tommy Bo delivers the blow that they needed, Ulster. Brilliant step from Bo, and it was see you later. The man is a machine of express pace, and he slams that ball down. Massive try, that is just huge. Ulster are going to the Heineken Cup Grand Final. They can't be stopped now. They can't be stopped. Ferris looks absolutely ecstatic. He chased Bo all the way to the try line. And Ulster, well, they've called on their two big guns here to get them to the final. Ruin Pinar and Tommy Bow, and they have delivered tenfold for them tonight. Conversion here for Pinar. Can he make a consecutive 17 nils? He does. Still have five minutes remaining here. 17 nil over Toulouse. And now 17 nil over Clemence. Two massive victories over French sides. Uh, Clement were in this match all along, but it's just fallen away now. As James goes short to Ferris. And what a pass to our uh, Foa. They're going to keep running it here. Allen, big pass wide for Bo. Bo trying to get past Nakatasi, who amazingly, for such a key player, haven't seen him at all. His Pinar slips out of one. Over the head he goes and intercepted. But into touch at the same time from Stanley. Clermont just haven't had that finishing ability tonight. And it's come to pay them off. 17-0 they trail. There goes the buzzer. Clermont are going home without anything. It is Ulster who will be going to the final. But they've got one more special play up their sleeve. As is through the middle from Allen. Now it's Jackson going to ground. Pinar's on hand nicely. Nicely to best. Bo. Oh, big part, big tackle coming in there from Nakatasi. He's done his job on defense at least. And once again to Muller, the big lock. He's trundling through. He gets taken on the 22 and he gets turned over. Completely isolated. But now they've knocked it on. Come on, lose the ball. Ulster get it back and they've got advantage. Pinar. Away to Marshall. Marshall's through. Can he get past Byrne? No, he can't. Another fantastic tackle from the fullback. Here's Best over the top for Trumbull. One more for the road. 
Trimble gets the final say and Ulster have a dominant display to get them into the grand final of the Heineken Cup. Just about got all the way there from Marshall. He's been outstanding. But the know-how there, best to go to the left, just pops it over the top. And Trimble finishes the job to perfection. Ulster have been one class above Clermont tonight. And it's showing massively on the scoreboard. Pinar will have the final play of this match. I'm surprised they've played on, but after 80 minutes, when you're leading by 17, what else do you do? Here's Pinar to send Clement on their way home. And he nails it. He sinks a massive kick in 24 to nil. That'll spell the end of Clement. It is Clement going home empty handed and Ulster on their way to the grand final of the Heineken Cup. Who would have thought Ulster they could have been gone in the group stages but they've just escaped that. Then two massive displays over very strong French sides from Clement and Toulouse. And today they can repeat the feat of two years ago they went to the grand final of the Heineken Cup. Can they go one further this time? Can they secure a famous victory in the grand final of the Heineken Cup? Let's have a look at today's fixture, though. The score is going to Trimble, Marshall and Bo. Pinar with three conversions and, of course, their penalty just after he come back from the Sinbin. That was, that was a killer blow and that kind of killed off the fight in their Clermont side. The stats, 29% of possession to Clermont. That isn't enough to win a match. 71 for Ulster. That is enough to win a match. And they've proved that 24 to nil. High tackles, there was two. Handling errors, eight to four. Not the best there, but both sides guilty of a lot of errors. Both teams conceding a couple of penalties. And that penalty goal, that is the difference today. 24 to nil, Clermont. They're going home with nothing. And Ulster are going to the grand final. Let's check out what they have to look forward to next week. It will be Toulon in the final. It is Ireland versus France. Let's see where that fixture will be and what you have to look forward to for the grand final. So, of course, it was Toulon who smashed Munster 51-7 in the other semi-final. And that puts them in the grand final. But it is Millennium Stadium. They will be hosting the Heineken Cup grand final. It will be Ulster versus Toulon. And that match will be coming up in a couple of weeks again. I don't know why they spread these fixtures out so badly for the Heineken Cup, but that is the way it is. And that match will be coming up with the actual final. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. It is Ulster versus Toulon. The Heineken Cup final at Millennium Stadium. And that wraps us up for today's semi-final match. A big win for Ulster over Clermont. And that has stopped the all-French final. And there will be an Irish taste to the Heineken Cup this season. Thank you all for tuning in and thanks for watching today's match. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time for plenty more Rugby Challenge 2. Thank you all for watching and take care.